conditional formatting in Excel 2007 can be used to format the contents of a cell depending on any given criteria. We've got some data in the cell that's got employee number, the employee name, the monthly salary, the annual salary and the new salary based on a salary increase. What I want to do is format the new salary cells dependent on certain criteria. So I'm going to select those cells first and then making sure that we've got the Home tab selected we're going to come across to the Styles section and from there select the Conditional Formatting icon. This drops down a menu giving a range of choices. The first one we'll look at is Highlight the Cell Rules and you can see the type of options that we've got. We can format the text if it is greater than a certain number or less than a certain number or equal to or find duplicate values. So you can see how that will work. Let's just try greater than and we get this dialog box that allows us to define exactly what it is that we want to do. So in this box here it says format cells that are greater than and then we can put a figure into this box. If I just move that down slightly to have a look at the formatting underneath because this is, is live formatting. As we change things the appearance will change. So in this box we've got 16,536 and if the cell is greater than that value, it will format it according to this condition. Light red fill with dark red text. And we can see that's what's actually happened to this cell. This cell is greater than 22, greater than 16,000, so it's been formatted. Let's try changing this number. Let's put 15,000 in. And you can see now there are two cells with numbers greater than 15,000. We can change this type of formatting. Let's make it green fill with dark green text and then OK. We've now applied that rule and the beauty of that rule is that it's, it's live. So we can change any of these numbers and the formatting comes into play. You can see now I've changed the salary increase. We've now got three employees who earn more than 15,000. I'll select those cells again. Then we used formatting in the styles section, conditional formatting, and that was highlighting cell rules. Those are the features. They all work in exactly the same way, top and bottom. Let's find the top 10%. Who earns the most? Well, again, it gives us a little dialog box so we can fine tune things. We can alter that percentage so we don't have to find the top 10%. We could find the top 20% or the top 30%. And then what to do with it? Again, we've got a light red fill, but we can change it. Click on OK, and that shows us his D boss is the, um, the highest 10% earner. You can see how those rules as well are cumulative. You can have more than one rule on one set of data. Conditional formatting. If we want to clear the rules, we can drop down here to clear rules from the selected cells and it reverts back to normal formatting. Conditional formatting again. So we've looked at highlighting cells, top and bottom rules. You can even put data bars. And you can see as I hover over there what the data actually looks like. Have a watch of the data, hover over, and it puts in a bar dependent on the size of the number with different colours. It will take the top value and rate everything according to the top value. We can have colour scales, gradients of colours. So the darker colour is the higher value, the lighter colour the lower value. We can use icon sets. You just want to see that is this one. You can see the number of bars growing as the number gets higher. And you can see now when I've applied that in the cell, the, the number of bars here is higher for the higher value. 
we'll just clear that rule as well so you can see we can have all these conditional formatting ones on we can use these in built ones or we can also manage rules and create new rules new rules just jumps us into here as well so I'm going to go to manage rules this brings us this dialog box and you can see we can do new rule from there so if I click on new rule this allows us then to create our own rules rather than using those inbuilt ones and the easiest one to do this with is format only cells that contain as an option in the selector rule type and then we can dial up our rule here let's say that the cell value has got to be between and then we can put numbers in these boxes let's put 13,000 and 16,000 so if a cell contains a value of between we don't have to have between we can have all these different options of between 13,000 and 16,000 then what? we change the formatting keep it simple, we'll just put a fill colour of red on and OK so if the cell value is between 13,000 and 16,000 give a red fill let's see if we've got any click OK there's the rule there in the list and OK again yep there's two cells that contain values of greater than 13,000 once more select the cells conditional formatting manage rules you can see the existing rule that's been applied there add a new one format only cells that contain the value again it doesn't have to be cell value could could look for specific text or we could look for dates but I'm just going to cell value of and this time I'm going to put greater than or equal to uh, 20,000 this time if the cell value is greater than or equal to 20,000 format let's make it a green fill this time and again it doesn't just have to be fill we can use all the normal formatting features different number styles different fonts and colors border styles we can add all those into this formatting and then click OK and OK we've now got two rules click OK both rules are being applied those two are between 13 and, six, 15, th between 13 and 16 thousand and this one is more than 20 thousand finally select the cells conditional formatting manage rules the rules are applied in the order that they appear in this list um, it's important to remember that because in older versions of Excel you can only have three rules in 2007 we can have more than three rules but if a user is going to open the document inside uh, Excel 2003 then only the first three rules will appear so you might want to change the order in which the rules are applied and you can do that by using these buttons to move the rules up and down and obviously we can delete rules from there as well click on OK so there's conditional formatting it's a way of formatting the contents of a cell dependent on certain criteria and to get to it we select our cells make sure you're on the home tab then con conditional formatting from the styles section we can use the inbuilt rules or we can create our own conditional formatting